Yeah, quiz. Hey, real quick though, I'm here to let you know. Every Thursday at 9 a.m., you can catch reruns of the Real Quick Though podcast on CTC Radio. Yes, sir. <laughs> CTC Radio, the only radio station committed to the coast. That was Long Live Caesar with You to Love. Uh, that's the homie. He's out of L.A. Nigga said Stranger Things. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Seven Records says Tap In After CTC Radio. After Niggas Not Now. After Niggas Not Now. That's right. After. What, what are we tapping into? Uh, honest Conversations with Mr. Carter. Ox City 805 Queen says, I had to come in here, drop down. I had to come in here and drop down and chat today. Calm my ass down because I've been who banging with these hoes all day. What you who banging for? Why you? What, what, what's what's the problem? Why we who banging? Why we who banging? Sh- Ox City 805 Queen says, Shorty, not too much. Just missing home. Just missing the coast. Um, If you missed earlier, I talked about uh, last night. We talked about Diddy's situation. I kind of talked about how I did not want that to be correlated to hip hop. I don't think Diddy and his per- his his alleged perverseness has anything to do with hip hop. Um, oh, Philly on tonight. Let's go. Let's go. I want to hear that story because you know what? I don't know a whole lot about Philly. I just know I like him, but I don't know a whole lot about him. So this should be good. Um, Seven Records says Patreon exclusive episode just dropped. Teaser, teaser on IG right now. We're going to scroll the feed too. So we, we'll check that out. Um, but yeah, I said I did not want, um, I specifically did not want Diddy's alleged perverse actions to be tied to hip hop because it doesn't have anything to do with hip hop, right? It's just one man's actions who, uh, you know, he made his own choices, he made his own decisions, and, and that has nothing to do with hip hop, you know? So that's what I'm saying. So, um, but I knew that people would try to tie it to hip hop just because it's easy, it's low hanging fruit. Um, and you know, it gives you your own little soapbox to stand on. People don't really like defending hip hop, so it's an easy scapegoat. And um, Oxidy805 Queen said, People be trying me like I'm soft. We know you're not in this chat. We know not to play with 805 Oxidy Queen, so we wouldn't do it. We would never do that in here. I'm sorry that happened. Um, Seven Records said he decided to save his opinion for his platform. I I respect it. I respect. I'm not mad at that. I respect it. He said, "Come this week so we could talk for real." We'll see. We'll see. But definitely in October. I don't know about this week, but we'll definitely come in October. But look, so just to give y'all a refresher on what we talked about, um, let me go ahead and load this up so y'all can hear. And then there's a comment on the on the bottom that I already replied to, so I'll read you my reply, but then I just want to speak a little more to it on the air. So this is the clip from yesterday that we had and done by people uh, trivializing this and, and reducing it to... to I'm going to reload it. Give me one second. Shout out to ABG for the beat. It's not being gay. The crime is not being a 69 God. <laughs> Despite what Kendrick might have you believe, the crime is is um, ignoring people's autonomy and um, and ignore and and not and not um, getting consent. Um, and and I think that that there's a lot of harm that can be done. I think there's already a lot of harm that's been done by people uh, trivializing this and and reducing it to to just being about the fact that this really, really prominent, huge billionaire rapper is gay. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the headline that he had a thousand bottles. Now a thousand bottles of baby oil is, so y'all get it, y'all get it. So Spins805, who is an artist out of Oxnard, I believe, uh, hopped in the chat. He hopped in the comments and he said, this is the current state of rap music. There will be more involved. Rap music has no ethics and the listeners suffer because they think it's normal. And this is a take that I respectfully cannot stand. You see why it doesn't have a like next to it? Because I don't like this take. I feel like it's so easy to use hip hop as a scapegoat um, 
for f- when individuals make bad decisions and 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 have bad behavior and that's just not the case um and that's my and that's that's true like he is a rapper himself which i i especially don't like i especially don't like when rappers say shit like that it drives me crazy i i don't i don't know what your intent is but it does it does give uh, Post Malone. It gives Post Malone vibes. I'm going to be real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not calling you Post Malone spins. I'm not saying you're that. But when you rap and then you blame rap, it, it gives a mixed message. So my reply, excuse me, I got chicken. Chicken. There we go. I think I'll put too much salt on it, y'all. I'll put too much salt on it. So uh, my reply, let me see if we can load it up. Let's see. Why is it not loading my reply, yo? Maybe I'll just look on my phone. Give me one second. So my reply to spins, and you can go see it for yourself so you know I'm not capping. I said, uh, oh, it's private. That's why. I said, respectfully, I don't think this has anything to do with rap music. Diddy also claims to be a Christian, and nobody is blaming this on the churches when there's a proven history of sexual sexual abuse within the church. Rock and metal are the most amoral genres in existence. In fact, I was just watching a documentary about 80s hair metal bands um, and just how debaucherous they were in the 80s. And it made me so mad because all I ever heard about growing up is how disgusting rap behavior is and gangster rap behavior is. And then I, I knew nothing about hair metal bands. I knew like who Sebastian Bach and Extreme were, and that's about it. And I've heard of Guns N' Roses. I don't know a lot about them. But growing up where out here on the coast, they were all praised. They all they Guns N' Roses. Um, all of these hair metal bands were praised out here on the coast. Come to watch this documentary. They had some of the most craven behavior I've ever seen. There's a story in this documentary about how Ozzy Osbourne just shits in some guy's shoes for no reason because he thought it was funny. He just took a shit in some guy's shoes. I never heard about no shit like that in hip hop ever. Like that's just debaucherous. That's debaucherous behavior and nobody ever calls that shit out. And so I said, uh, rock and metal are the most amoral genres in existence. They're literally built on sex and drugs. Diddy has strong ties to that world too, but no one is blaming rock music. My point is we can't just point at a culture someone is involved in and then blame the part of the culture that we don't like. You know what I'm saying? Like this has nothing to do with rap. This has nothing to do with black people. Has nothing to do with blackness or rap. I know Spins didn't say that, but I'm putting that out there as well. This is one individual's heinous decisions and heinous abuse of power that does not at all correlate to his profession. Seven Records says, if you're a rapper, AKA an artist in hip hop and you don't care, baby oil, then it doesn't go to all of hip hop. (laughs) And I, and I just like, yeah, it just, that just, that take bothers me. You know what I'm saying? Because it just, it really is giving, that you're trying to get brownie points. I'm not speaking to Spins' motivations. I don't know what his motivation is, but I, as it, it it reads from the outside looking in as though like the brownie points are more important than the culture. And um, to me, the culture should always be first, first and foremost. Uh, let me read that again. Seven Records says, um, if you're a rapper, AKA an artist in hip hop and you don't carry baby oil, then it doesn't go to all of it. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Black Truffle TV says it can be looked over because of how it's delivered.